Hello and welcome to this match preview for Nottingham Forest versus Southampton. Now, obviously, four games left remaining. I'll bring up the table right now. We're six points in. I mean, I'm pretty sure we all know we're relegated. I mean, unless some God-given grace happens, we win all four games, all results go away. It is possible. Obviously, we're not mathematically relegated, and we won't be mathematically re relegated no matter the results for this next game week. So... We're still technically a prem side until maybe next match week. Um, but it is what it is. I mean, it's been coming for a while. I mean, when you don't win, what, in the last 10 games, I don't think we've won a game, you pretty much know that you're relegated. Um, but obviously, knowing Southampton, they'll, I honestly, I'm not going to lie here, I feel like we're going to win this game just to piss off every Southampton fan. They'll be like, oh, we won this game. Technically, we're not out yet, boys. We're not out yet. But it's like, bro, come on, man. We've lost, what, eight of our last ten or seven of our last ten or something like that. And then you win with basically when there's like a 99.9% .9 chance of relegation you decide to win. I wouldn't be bloody surprised. These are fucking idiots. But in reality, we're relegated. Um, obviously, we are quite lucky that, you know, Leicester, Leeds, Nottingham Forest, Everton have all been pretty shit. Um, no one's really gone and stepped out of the relegation battle. So we're lucky in that regard, but... Yeah, we're relegated. I mean, this whole team needs to rebuild. It needs to be completely demolished from the inside out and then rebuilt. But the problem is, is that uh, I'm probably with a lot of fans here. Do we trust them to make the right decisions? I'm not sure. I mean, they really went and interviewed Nathan Jones, looked at all his, all his prior achievements and all this sort of shit, and went, he's the man to save us. And we all know how that ended up. And then Sellers wins one game against Chelsea, and they're like, He's, he's done well in training. He's a good figure in training. He, he can do it. And look what's happened. So I'm not exactly sure um, if I trust them to make the right decisions. Obviously, when it comes to recruitment, there's some players that's, that have been brilliant, like Lavio and Belakotchet, but there's still a massive hole in recruitment when it comes to quality. Um, I mean, let's have a look. You know, four signings in January. Big Paul doesn't exist. Orsich doesn't exist. Sunamal is not allowed to start. And um, Alcaraz can only play 60 minutes. I mean, considering those four signings were supposed to completely revolutionize our attack and, and give us an experience up front and quality up front, and clearly not. Um, and I honestly don't think it's the players. Um, not entirely, obviously, but obviously some blame has to come to some of the players for the chance they miss and stuff. But in reality, Big Paul hasn't played anywhere near enough for an £18 million striker who's supposedly supposed to score us goals. Orsic, who literally, I think, has played about 20 minutes of Premier League football. I mean, if you're putting out Adam Armstrong, you're putting out Elanusi, and you don't want to put out Orsic, like, what, what, what's what's wrong with you? Even if Orsic has a stinker, he might provide something more than those fucking idiots. It's just absolutely stupid, and it's the same with Big Paul not playing. I mean, just chuck him up there. We can't score. We can't win games. Just fucking try something. Like, clearly what we're doing right now isn't enough to win games to get points. So fucking try something else. Chuck Big Paul on. Chuck Orsic on. Chuck Suleiman on. Chuck Elkert. Just fucking go for it. We have to win every game. In reality, most likely every game, maybe 10 points may be enough. I don't know. But honestly, we have to aim to win every game if we want to stay in the league. Whatever, right? We have to win every game. So just fucking chuck him on. Chuck everyone on and just see what happens. Because at the end of the day, the team we're playing isn't good enough. The substitutions are not good enough. And uh, who cares? Honestly, just fucking go for it, man. I'd rather see six attackers against Nottingham Forest than anything else. I mean, we've not played a striker for six weeks. I mean, just chuck fucking Adams and Paul up top together. Or such suit them on the wings. Yes, it's very attacking. Just fucking go for it, man. Just go for it. We're going to concede three goals anyway. Or two goals anyway. So just try and score five. Oh, uh, well, it is what it is. Um, yeah, so obviously this week we could we can't be relegated, but we basically are. Um, but we have, what, Fulham, uh, Liverpool and Brighton. I mean, I could see Fulham maybe a potential result. Like, I'm talking, you know, more than 5% chance, but Brighton, Liverpool, I doubt that. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be relegated, um, and it could be a good thing for the team in some aspects, but also very bad in other aspects because, obviously, the money is going to be way lower. We're going to lose Ward Prowse, Lavia, Bella Kotchap, blah, blah, blah. We're going to lose basically the whole team. And obviously some of them are good players. Some of them, fuck me, get gone. Like Alanusi and fucking Adam Armstrong. He probably would stay, wouldn't he? Um, we've got to get rid of them. Uh, or oh, Adam Armstrong, my stat pad in the championship. Because um, apparently that's like his level. It's probably not even, he's probably League One level now, League Two. 
Um, but yeah, so it might be a good clear out, get rid of all the fuckwits. Um, but then obviously there's a massive risk with a massive turnaround like that. Um, it could keep us in the in the division um, for quite a while. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's what we deserve. Shit recruitment, uh, shit, um, shit managers. And uh, yeah, that's kind of what we deserve for this season. We've been shit in every aspect. And yeah, that's basically it. Hopefully, I mean, the one positive I see is that, you know, the Youth Academy can really get reinstilled into the into the first team because, I mean, at the end of the day, you're playing Alanus and Anna Armstrong every week, but you're not giving any youngsters a go at all. At all. Not even a minute off the bench. That's kind of ridiculous. Because um, at the end of the day, clearly the players that you so-called trust sellers don't work. You might as well just give it to someone else. Um, but maybe in the championship, new manager comes in, um, obviously a big clear out of the squad, maybe some of those players... Dominic Ballard, Dibbling and whatnot can get into the first team, which would be nice um, because it's been a while since we've really had a, a, a youth Canada actually come back into the team um, and stay there. So it would be nice to see. And obviously we've got um, Smallbone as well um, who made that interview recently about saying he wants to come back to Sandin and, you know, whether we're in championship or not, which is nice to hear. Um, Teller-wise, I don't know if Teller will stay or not. Who knows? But... I mean, those sort of players, can, they ha, they can clearly have passion. They clearly have passion. It's really that simple. You look at Alan Usi play, he looks fucking half-assed. And he needs to be fully arsed to even make a pass. So that about sums it up. So if you get Teller back, um, Smallbone back, you know, some sort of actual desire to play for the team and play for the club and succeed, then maybe we might do well. But I'm not feeling exactly confident, but we'll see what happens in the summer. But in, in terms of this game, we all know what we're going to see. 4-4-2. No striker, probably played decent for the first 20, shit for the rest, and then we'll say we controlled the game when we didn't, and then, yeah. But to be fair, if Nottingham Forest was to lose this game, they must be thinking they're down, because holy shit. To be fair, though, what I would say is that the I've actually looked at sort of the schedules for all the teams, um, you know, Everton, Forest, Leeds, and Leicester. They're actually pretty difficult. Um, they're probably, ours is probably actually easier than a lot of other teams, um... But, I mean, there's not much point getting any hope, is there? We, we watch this team week in, week out, all year, and they've been fucking awful. So, there's not much point getting a little bit of optimism, but, yeah. So, I don't know. Prediction-wise, I think it's just going to be a draw. Maybe one all. Um, Nottingham Frost are probably going to want it more, though. So, I could see them easily winning. And, obviously, our team sucks. But, in reality, I could see us getting some sort of point here just to fucking piss off every fan here. But we'll probably be up 2-0 and lose 5-2 or some shit. Just to piss them off. Because how many times in the last sort of month have Southampton given you hope and then just fucking ripped it out? You know, against Chelsea. F- oh, not Chelsea. Yeah, against Arsenal. 3-1 up. 80, 88th minute, 87th minute. Bottle it. Newcastle. Have a good first half. Shocking second. Shocking substitutions. Awful. Bournemouth. Absolutely shocking. It's like you take a positive result against Arsenal. Yes, we bottled it, but we had a positive game. Positive result. Then go against Bournemouth. Shit in every department, going against Newcastle, positive start, and then shit in the second, it's just ridiculous, actually ridiculous, but that's our season, that's exactly why we, we are where we are, we can perform against the best teams, can't perform against fucking everyone else, um, yeah, so we deserve to be here, um, obviously I do a watch along, um, it's actually a good time for me, it's like 7am, so uh, maybe we might get some celebrating in a little bit, but I probably wouldn't even celebrate goals, because you know they're going to bottle it, but yeah, um, that's going to be the video. There's not really much to talk about because at the end of the day, we're nearly right again. We're nearly finished. So there's not exactly n- anything exciting to talk about. Um, but yeah, I could easily see Nottingham Forest spanking us, to be honest, because I don't think anyone would struggle against us. I mean, um, there was a couple of comments on the Newcastle one where people were like, oh, no one wants to play Newcastle. We're in such good form. And it's like the complete opposite for us. Everyone and their fucking mother would love to play Southampton home or away. Probably, actually, they'd prefer to play them at St. Mary's because we are fucking way worse at St. Mary's than we are anywhere else. It's crazy. We've won, like, two home games this year or some shit. Embarrassing. But, yeah, um, that's it for this video. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you for the watch-along and hope that, I don't know, they at least try a bit, I guess.